California Senate has passed a statewide plastic bag ban. In the 22 to 15 vote, uh, the Senate agreed to not only pass the statewide ban on plastic single-use plastic bags, uh, but also pass a mandatory minimum 10 cent charge on paper bags, as well as a number of other very specific regulations designed to deal with what was called a, the most ubiquitous consumer product in the world. Stefan. Yeah, so there's, this actually bill included a whole bunch of other provisions, which, all of them which are quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them included demands for percentage of the bags to become from recycled. Mm -hmm. uh, and the bill also touted itself as actually improving manufacturing in, in California. That's part of its goal, mm -hmm. is to actually improve manufacturing in California specifically. Uh, which again sort of goes back against that sort of green jobs versus narrative thing. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which you also see actually, which is very strong in the idea against, the original push against plastic bags. Yeah. Uh, was usually the people, the plastic bag manufacturers, go on and on about how you know this, this how the both that you're gonna lose jobs from the people who make the plastic bags, which is kind of silly. Uh, and then the other side of it, of course, is the fact that you know the people can't afford the ten cent charges, uh, which both of them have been proven by studies to be not true. Uh, mm -hmm. No one's seen that at all. Um, and then also the fact that you're looking at some serious chances of the California manufacturing and recycling opportunities there too. So this is, this is creating the market for recycled plastic, which is huge, especially a state as big as California. That's right. Yeah, like if the state of California does something, the rest of the United States and then therefore the rest of the world starts catching up pretty quickly. In fact, it's, it's, it's pretty well known that a lot of uh, efficiency standards in Canada start usually in places like California. In the same way that Texas decides what all what all what all the books uh, you uh, see textbooks. in the, in the textbooks right. in the yeah. South, California does a lot of the energy efficiencies for cars because all car manufacturers want to sell to California, and then it just so it just bumps up the whole way through. That's right. Uh, so this is our, this is huge. This is a fantastic win. This is great. It start doesn't start till 2015 uh, in, in in some places in pharmacies and things like that. 2016 uh, for convenience stores. But again, this is the move in the right direction. It's going to decrease stuff in landfills. And then the final thing I want to throw in here is, remember when Toronto got rid of our five cent bag tax? I will. I have one request for the city of uh, for, the, for the municipal government in Toronto. I have one request: let us lead something. Your network, our, our transit will never be as good as New York's. Uh, that's fine. You know, let's give us something that we can tout as like this is the thing we're really good at. Uh, and let's stop playing catch up with all these. Like, if a state bans plastic bags before a state, before something as small as the city of Toronto does, uh, I'm kind of saddened by that. But what can you do? Yeah. My final thought was that uh, part of the uh, decision was made uh, based on a study of 370 leatherback sea turtle autopsies, found that about one in three had plastic in their stomach. More, most often, plastic bags was as part of the evidence that was submitted as to why something should be done about this. Uh, so, for any concerns about people not being able to afford plastic bags, not only do you know where a good chance of a plastic bag is, but you can also get yourself some nice soup in the process. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know you were going with that one. Yeah, I got it.